Hello, Libra. Thank you for being here. Uh, this is your weekly reading. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. How does your week open, Libra? You're tired. Mine of swords. Maybe you're hurting, pain, uh, anxiety, frustration, a lot going on, things crumbling around you. You're feeling like uh, someone isn't being truthful with you, mental anguish. At night, it gets worse. Uh, maybe even the pain here. Uh, the fatigue. Uh, going over and over a situation. You can't stop thinking about it. What they said, how it hurt you, uh, what you didn't do or how you reacted. Um, it's when the thoughts and the emotions attack you. You can't run from it. It's just a sea of emotions and thoughts and uh, it's almost over, though. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so what's the advice for Libra? The high priestess. Okay, so you might need to rest in an energy of uh, higher prayer, meditation, wisdom, clarity. Um, and it comes from maybe practicing some type of spirituality, occultism. Something is, is crumbling. Something is falling down. It may have something to do with a masculine energy. Overthinking or this is a masculine energy. Secret is out or the secret will get out. Or you're thinking about or there's heavy argument. There's um, could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with someone who is putting spells on you or this is what you've done. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome here? The Knight of Cups. So, yeah, it looks like spirit is going to try to come and comfort you and give you some type of download here. Or there may be someone who could be really nice to you. Uh, it could be a very healing vibration. What is the High Priestess? Why is the advice the High Priestess here? The Six of Swords. So it's like, yeah, you have to make uh, a choice to move on and move in a different direction. You have to just rationalize this moving on. Also, this is about... You know, uh, moving away from previous hurt or hurt from previous relationship. This is about moving away from stress, stressful uh, situation, uh, work environment. Um, just all of that together. Something is bringing you a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Okay. And the only way that you can get out of it is you making decision to move on. You keep overthinking. Okay, overanalyzing. What is the Knight of Cups? Is this a new person showing up? The the Emperor. Some of you, you keep thinking about maybe the separation from a particular person, maybe a feminine energy. You're wondering if they will forgive you or let you back in. Um, you could be a baby's dad or a husband or something of that nature. You're wondering if you can come in and maybe um, sweet talk this person you know, get them to fall in love with you again. It's just like maybe a separation, separation anxiety here. Somebody can't deal with the fact that we're, we're not talking, we're not together. That's what's going on here. Let's see what uh, the Angel Answers deck have to, has to uh, offer you. It's like uh, this woman is not moving towards you. There's something in the background. It's like... This person's energy is still lingering with you. Or this is how someone feels about you, Libra. If you're a feminine energy. You got a yes answer. Aquarius got yes. They got the definite yes, though, with the exclamation point. We do clarify our yes and no answers here. So let's see what this card has to offer you. I, th I think it's yes that somebody wants to come towards you, Libra. You know, but they're overthinking it super fearful not knowing if you'll forgive them if you guys will reconcile someone's stuck in their emotions stuck on their square opportunity is presenting itself but they're you know fearful i'm scared shitless i don't know yeah the magician okay so wow aquarius got these two cards too so you could be dealing with an aquarius libra it's like a relationship didn't get off the ground or it can't get off the ground it's like somebody's ready now maybe a masculine energy is ready now ready to make it real to make it realized uh to give it title status wow and the title and the status card at the bottom of the deck the four of pentacles somebody's ready um somebody's clinging onto this for dear life but they think it's over you have yes the magician yes uh take the next step uh use your words um Use your, you know, uh, play your cards wisely or right. 
definitely somebody wants a second chance. Either you leave her or someone else wants that with you. They just want forgiveness. Absolve them. Let it go. Relinquish. Um, let's go to the next level. We have to move forward. Um, someone can't let go. This could be you. It could be someone else. So that's what I have for you, Libra. They're stuck. You're stuck. I don't know. Somebody's stuck here. Uh, okay. Be prompted to move to this card. Let's see. What does the future hold for Libra? What's the future hold for Libra? Toil and labor. It might be hard work, but this is what you're manifesting here. Uh, maybe hard work too. Something is hard also to get over. You know, if this person will not allow you back into their life, do know that it's going to be hard getting over this, but you can do it. If it's that you guys will get back together, do know it's going to be hard work in um, maintaining and also um, forgiving and moving forward and building trust. Yeah, somebody is in deep despair. Like they can't believe that they let this go. But they were they were trying to be like the emperor, the official person and, and kind of not show this person uh, how they really felt. They wanted to be super mature about this um, and not offer maybe marriage or forgiveness or somebody definitely wants reconciliation. You might get an unexpected message uh, that somebody wants to move with you, do something with you. All of a sudden, somebody definitely wants like a, a name change or um, so that would be like uh, marriage or engagement or whatever. This could be like a courthouse wedding too. Somebody wants to do something fast here. You know, but uh, they're scared. So that's what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Who's stuck on you or you stuck on them? Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Purchase your healing bracelets at the website level, especially if you're going through you know, a breakup. The amethyst bracelet is good for you. If you just need protection, get the black tourmaline bracelets. Uh, thank you again. Take care. Many blessings to you.